in every other part of the house the somebody <laughs> soften up the mess drop it in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe spinning through identity reveal another pretty little scheme save her mind hold her hand and don't believe a lie you understand me walk her down the valley pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet teach her how to jump and how to strike hey guys and welcome back to my channel kamala mutimsi welcome groups a very warm welcome to everybody and if you're new here pretty please don't leave without subscribing so it is a pool day today sabawe luguti beach day guys <laughs> sabawe luguti beach day but from my mouth to god's ears one day soon so it's pool day and i'm trying to quickly want to show you what we've packed so it's basically the whole family tenants included like all of us yeah um we're all going and then it's going to be a fun day come along with us let me just show you what i'm packing and then yeah what we've packed to eat and what we're packing what i'm packing lana so and this yeah. is my bikini you guys um yeah i'm not going to be comfortable wearing it alone because it's not just me and my husband so i'm going to cover up with these shorts bucket shorts shorts for like a change of shorts for hubby and then i've got towels and vaseline vaseline then i've got sunscreen as well and then the kids are busy chopping onion in the kitchen let me show you i would like to get to know his ring he lost his ring and they're busy trying to find it in the pool <laughs> and then also like immediately when we came in I decided I'm not gonna swim me eh? I'm not I'm not swimming the only I only came here because everybody else wanted to come here but then I saw even on the internet to be Shem. So I am watching bags and stuff. Sunday the next morning it's a quarter to seven at the moment and we are up this bright and early after we've had such a long night like a late night not long night late night um because oh have you lost his ring as well guys so I think this was like 
less than 15 minutes into the into him going into the pool of him going into the pool he realized he didn't have his ring the lifeguards and other guys also tried helping and stuff and i that also just in hindsight thinking about it later i hope they didn't take it raw well and like maybe somebody seeing it pocketing it and keeping quiet we were advised to go to we can come today in the morning before everybody else comes because the pool's gonna be clear and clean and then we can look for it again so we hope 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 we'll find it and that's what we're going to do i've always known Uti, um my husband loves his ring ne? but then he is so distraught you guys he's so distraught there was a moment i woke up to go to the loo and I found him awake and I asked him, Guti, are you good? And what's not? Like, honestly, I'm not. I ain't quite sharp, love. And, like, I, I just knew. I just knew. It's it's that bad. <laughs> so, man, we're going to head out to try to go back to the pool. Hopefully, we find it, guys. Hopefully, we find it. But then, overall, the experience at Johannesburg Zoo swimming pool was nice. It was a beautiful day. The kids absolutely enjoyed it. There was a point we were driving past in Johannesburg Zoo, and I asked them, "Guti, um, do you do you guys want to come to Johannesburg Zoo?" And they said, "No, we want to go to the pool again." So I think kids and water, there's something there. But then, yeah, they really had fun. Um, Tina, okay, so when I got there, I was very underwhelmed. So the reason we went to Johannesburg Zoo swimming pool is because um, everybody else voted for it. It's closer to us. Some of the guys that were with us were Ubering there. So in terms of costs, it was friendly. And um, yeah, I think a single trip was like 110 rand and to come back as well. So that was, yeah, it was friendly. So um, we decided on that. And then when I got there, I was so underwhelmed, you guys. I was like, yeah, I was so underwhelmed. I immediately felt like this pool doesn't even be getting it. Um, doesn't even deserve my bikini <laughs> which no like honestly i just got there i was underwhelmed and i thought okay i'm gonna be the lifeguard and i'm gonna be the uh or anti kwama and things like that and i did just that but i still had fun actually because Atlanta was with me and everybody else kept coming back so there was like i didn't get bored i didn't get bored and um so have you lost his ring 15 minutes I think 15 foot is a long time guys like just when he got into the pool and he swam a bit and then he realized his ring was gone and then he said Uti, he can't find his ring and then uh, yeah so the whole time he was looking for his ring like I'd look his direction and he is looking for his ring so imagine we were there from about 1 p.m and left after five because we also waited for everybody to leave so that we can check but then he was looking for it the entire time so he definitely didn't enjoy it it wasn't a nice experience but then i really hope we find it i really hope we find the ring so we are on our way you guys and hope you're still enjoying the vlog I thought I'm even gonna go to church today, but then, yeah, let's see. So it was a way that you smile. I see you, boy. Oh, I need you, boy. I've been waiting my whole life to find someone like you. Move on, to find someone like you. Yeah, yeah, cause I. Coco! He's helping us look. The pool is clearer today, so that helps. Could there be a possibility that when cleaning was done, maybe these pipes sanctioned it? 
explicit. It could be, but I mean, the, the, the workings of it is inside, and it's like obviously a massive, it's not just your regular little small pool. Yeah. Actually chilling here and feeling so bad which I can't do anything <laughs> I'm feeling so bad I walked multiple times around the pool and that's like the best I can do um, yeah this is if this is giving me even more reason to get into um, swimming lessons and I thought that was like one that was something on my bucket list for this year but then yeah it didn't happen and I think it's really just out of ignorance guys because swimming lessons in my like just close to home it's like 780 80, 780 so that's not even bad so yeah I also just found out about season tickets here those are 291 so about 300 and and with that um, you've got access for seven whole months um, to the pool so we could do like nighttime um, these swim in the nighttime swim early morning and things like that so yeah Two thousand years later. Later. Um, this is going to be the last vlog guys of 2023 the last episode of your vlogmas so Ohabi and I ended up not finding the ring Izolo and yeah quite sad but then such as life we'll get it replaced um, yeah and I want to make it special I don't know how because I saw how distraught he is guys he loved uh, 
his in and that all. <laughs> and then um, we saw Christmas lights as well, which is really beautiful. It was a very fun activity. It was just me and a friend of mine and our babies. It was beautiful, guys. It was so beautiful. And then it's Christmas morning. I've taken a bath, and then the kids are getting ready. I've also made breakfast for them. And then I quickly went to dash out to do last minute christmas shopping i hate myself for this you guys but then um isola got the times mixed up so we thought we'd start um with the shopping um before heading out for the christmas lights and we ended up not doing it because oh we went and we found the stores were closed because it was christmas eve so they closed earlier and i just didn't take that into consideration so today i am going to get last minute items it's really just for dessert and then i'm thinking of getting like gammon and just add-ons to the table spread and then um come back i'll head out with the kids no hadi we'll we'll go home basically christmas is guacamole today so we'll go home and have fun and enjoy this day with family i hope you had a beautiful one because you're seeing this after um may it be a blessed one may it be a prosperous new year and yeah guys come along with me hope you enjoy this vlog hope you're still enjoying this vlog <laughs>
guys good morning christmas was beautiful christmas day was beautiful it was filled with so much laughter so much happiness so much joy you guys like it was really beautiful and i just got to appreciate having your loved ones with you people who genuinely love you and root for you and want what's best for you and just yeah guys it was really beautiful i was also just thinking Oguti, this is actually the second christmas we are spending with my dad um if you're an og you'll know Oguti. his he was critical but stable around my wedding last year so since like october and my wedding was in november it was just yo it was a movie guys and to the flesh it also seemed as though um we wouldn't even be able to spend christmas with him like it was that bad but then god said no <laughs> his plans are to prosper us and not to harm us his plans are to give us a hope and a future to the naked eye it seemed like it's over but then he wasn't done and he still isn't because this was the second christmas we got to spend with him which was beautiful and it's a blessing i don't take for granted and another thing i've realized or noticed is how old my parents are getting and um our parents are getting even umama back home and yeah guys like so cherishing moments like these spending days of or holidays like these with them it's just a cherry on top just being able to do that i recognize which not everybody has that is 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 has that privilege um we are all blessed but in our stories are different and mina we just out here just absorbing everything just absorbing all the love absorbing all the unity and uh just being a baby you guys <laughs> so yeah christmas was beautiful i hope you had a blessed one 2023 was a very like was like we've never experienced a year of its kind it was a lot of there was like along with the um, we've lost physically more than we've gained and um it's very easy to just look at that and think god hasn't blessed you but then his provision him walking with us him being there throughout us making it thus far it's 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 blessings you guys that like when you when you when you look at life you really do get to see the good and the beauty of it uh, above just um yeah basically characters were built and ways of living were adapted and um new ways of living were adapted and yeah it's really just through god's grace looking back at this year wow guys wow but god has been faithful god has been too good and um may 2024 be a year of answered prayers for you and family may it be a year of victories may it be a year of adventure may it be a prosperous one may it be a beautiful one and may it be a year of really getting to know god and his character a lot more and really just staying in his goodness staying in his grace just yeah guys what a blessing it is to have known him i've never known god or never made um i've never made an effort to know god ever in my life like i did this year i'm not sure if that makes sense and we are pila god is alive there is a god and he is good and he is kind and he is so loving like guys yeah experience him yourself really do and yeah 2024 is our year guys our year we're crushing we're smashing goals and we are just going for it all um i hope it's a beautiful one thank you so much for your love and your support this is the last vlog of 2024 three and um i'll see you in the new year guys i'll see you in the new year 
be safe and love you loads love you loads i appreciate each and every one of you for being here and yeah here's to growth here's to growing and just learning more and seeing more of god in our lives you guys um have a blessed one thank you so much and i appreciate you and yeah Oh, 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 oh